Yes. We've captured a freighter entering remains of the Alderaan system. Its markings matches those ships that blasted its way out of Moss Eisley. They must be trying to return the stolen plans to the princess. She may yet be of some use to us. Will Huff Tarkin, Imperial Docking Bay Control, and Darth Vader eventually, Organa was rescued from the Death Star by the unlikely alliance of smuggler Han Solo, her unknowing twin brother Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi, who sacrificed himself in his duel with Darth Vader. The group escaped the Imperial Fortress and fled to the Alliance base on Yavin 4, pursued by the Death Star. At Yavin 4, the Empire and the Rebels engaged in a major battle, with the fate of the Rebellion hanging in the balance. Despite destroying a great many of the Alliance's starfighters, the battle ultimately ended up a major defeat for the Imperial forces, when Skywalker fired the shot which destroyed the Death Star. This marked the Rebellion's first major victory against the Empire. Now viewing the growing alliance as a credible threat, Sidious issued a communique the morning after the Death Star's destruction ordering all ongoing ISB operations be superseded for the immediate detention of known and suspected rebel sympathizers. Admiral Kendall Ozzel ordered the fleet into battle readiness. To keep the rebellion off balance, the Empire engaged in rushed and scrambled offenses across the galaxy and raided spice worlds such as Care of DOI in an attempt to cut off possible sources of income for the Alliance. With major military redeployments occurring around the clock, the Imperial military began to mobilize for a full-scale galactic war, while the rebellion began to push into the populous Imperial Midrim in a failed operation that only months later would become known as the Midrim Retreat, its ultimate demise owing in large part to the Empire's numerical superiority.